Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about brooks and wingtips. Full brook, half brook, quarter brook, you name it, we'll cover it. First of all, what exactly is a brook? The brook shoe has its origins in Ireland and Scotland and it was meant to be an outdoors shoe. Originally, the brogue shoe was basically an untanned piece of cowhide which had holes to drain the water from rain or when you worked. But if you want to learn more about the history of the brogue shoe, check out our in-depth guide on our website. Basically, the brogue has hole perforations, just like here. That means no matter what style of shoe you have, a brogue is a brogue if it has holes. Oftentimes, people get confused between the word brogue Oxford, Derby, wingtip, but it's actually quite simple. An Oxford, as you can see here, is defined by its closed lacing system. A Derby shoe is defined by its open lacing system. To learn more about Oxfords and Derbys and the differences, check out this video. Basically, it doesn't matter what kind of Oxford or Monk or Derby you have, it all can be a broke as long as it has holes. All of the pairs of shoes I'm gonna show you in this video are going to be brokes. When you buy a broke shoe today, these are the hallmarks you should look for. One, it should have heels, um, it should have a toe cap and a heel cap, as you can see here. Most importantly, what you'll always need is the hole perforations, the broguing. Now that you know the basics, let's get a little more specific. One of the most well-known shoes is the so-called full brook. It is called that way because it has a very specific cut and layout and it has lots of hole perforations. As you can see here, this is a spectator shoe but it's still a brogue because it has the hole perforations. Now, a full brogue always has this kind of winged toe cap and it looks like a W. It also has perforations in the back of the shoe and the side of the shoe and sometimes you'll find more broguing in some shoes than in others, but at the end of the day, it's still called a full broke shoe. Sometimes the full broke is also called wingtip because of its winged tip, the W or wingtip. Now, a variation of this shoe is a so-called long wingtip, where the cap extends all the way to the back. Compare it to the regular wingtip, where the wing actually ends somewhere in the middle of the shoe. The next famous kind of brogues is called semi-brogue or half-brogue. As you can see here, the semi-brogue or half-brogue is defined by a cap toe that is straight across with what is called a medallion on the top, which is the hole punching and it's decorative. The next kind of brogue is the so-called quarter-brogue. And as you can see here, it has the cap toe and it lacks the medallion, but it has the hole perforations along the edge. The fourth brogue is called Gilly Brogue and it's from Scotland and used there today for formal evening wear. And sometimes people also wear it outside of that, but it's very special because it's a lace-up shoe, but it doesn't have a tongue. So it has a very unique look and uh, it's usually something you add to your collection once you have all the basics covered. Definitely not something to start out with. Now, these are the classic styles of broke shoes, but there are many more. Lately, one model that has been popular is a so-called U-cap or U-tip broke because it has this U shape. Sometimes it's further down or further up and uh, it's just a variation of the wingtip and it looks different, but is still considered to be a broke. As I said, brokes can be Oxford derbies or monk straps like here. They can be very elegant and work with lots of outfits. So don't shy away from these somewhat more unusual styles, but they're really great and also very classic. To learn even more about Brooks, please check out our guide. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and sign up for our free newsletter. And I'll give you the book 15 Style Mistakes and How You Can Avoid Them. Click here to sign up. So now you may wonder, how do I wear Brooks shoes? And basically, there are a few rules to consider. Rule number one, the more broguing a shoe has, the less formal it is. So for example, a wingtip full brogue in brown is less formal than a quarter brogue in brown. Makes sense, right? 
So if you have a gray three-piece business suit, you're not gonna wear a brown or red full brook. Usually you wear a black quarter brook or semi brook because they're much better suited. So the second rule to bear in mind is do not wear broke shoes with evening wear. I know Prince William did it and it looked terrible. He's not a good dresser and you should always stay away from broguing with evening wear. If you have suits, uh, especially more formal suits, try to go with less broguing than more. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule. For semi-formal combinations, such as blazers or sport coat outfits, I recommend you wear a full brook shoe or you can even go with a half brook. Try to go with more browns or red, black maybe, but only if you wear gray flannel pants with it. For jeans and chinos, I suggest you go even a step further and you can take full brooks and wingtips with a thicker leather sole. You can also do boots with it. You can really experiment with different colors. You can go with suede leather textures and overall just emphasize the more casual character of your outfit. With brooks, you should definitely avoid exotic leathers simply because you already have that hole perforation and the more holes you have, the more texture and structure you get. Now you add in a crocodile leather, alligator, ostrich, it just is too much and you cannot really see the holes anymore and it's not really elegant and stylish. So if you have brogues, try to keep the leather as simple as possible. Box calf leathers, maybe scotch grain, but not more than that. Overall, every man should have at least one broke shoe in his shoe closet. And if you don't have one right now, please check out our videos on the first three men's shoe you should start with. Thank you.